Hello and welcome to this CAVCO tutorial where we are going to take this 2D drawing and convert it into a 3D relief and we will save it in the relief clip art library. So we have CAVCO running in the background and we just take our clip art and drag and drop it into the CAVCO window. Now I'm going to select 200 millimeters wide, working in millimeters. Bottom left hand corner is a stat position, which is fine, but that's OK. And we're going to press OK. Got full screen. Now, to make this job a lot easier for CAVCO, we are going to convert this picture into just two colors. The dark color and the light color, because at the moment there is probably over 200 separate colors there, which is in indicated by these boxes at the bottom. And if I scroll through, you can see there are many. So to do this, we go to the bitmap to vector tool which brings up a dialog box where we can reduce the colors uh, so there's actually 255 colors in this picture and we're going to reduce it further down to two colors there we go and we're going to apply that now this speckle size now what what this is telling ATCAM is to ignore anything less than two pixels. Each one of the imaginary little boxes here is a pixel. The smoothness number here indicates to CAVCO how closely you want the line to follow around here. If this number was fairly low then it would try and trace around each individual's pixel here so the higher the number the looser the trace then so we're going to accept that and we're also telling CAVCO that the primary color the one over overlaying this white here is the black color and it's the black color we wish to ask CAVCO to trace around. So we'll ask it to create the vectors and there they are immediately. Now to make a 3D relief this is all we need, all the information we need. So we just go up here to the shape editor and this will give us a 3D rendering now what we need to do we I want the sides of this to be rounded so we we'll select the round and you can see that CAVCO has immediately made it into a 3D relief but it's a little I find this a little bulbous maybe so what I need it to do is say okay we want to limit the top all right in other words limit how high CAVCO will lift this up. In other words, we're going to give it a flat top. And we're going to scale that now. A limited height of, I think, 6 millimeters. And you can see a slight flat appear in here maybe five millimeters let's try a little bit lower that looks a bit better i just think that these types of 3d relief just appear to be slightly better if you just on the very higher peaks just limit them slightly and uh, it looks a much more presentable job but when you make yours you know you can 
make it whatever you want. But I also like flat sides. In other words, I like it to come up flat a millimeter or two. So we're gonna we're gonna say let me see overall five millimeter. We're gonna go one point five millimeters, I think. That looks pretty good to me. Yes, I like that. So we're going to let's just check. Yes, we're going to apply that. And we're adding it. We're making a completely new 3D relief. So we're adding this. So we just apply. And then we can get out of that. And it's... Let's... Um, if you can still see that uh, the purple haze around. So we can... You can actually turn that on and off by go into this toggle switch here which turns on and off the vectors so it looks a bit better if you do that and we can get the twiddle tool and have a look and that looks fairly presentable to me looks very nice now then what I like to do then is turn this into a grayscale and you can do that with just one click of a button just come up to here and you can create now a grayscale by just click giving one click on this so now that is a grayscale rendition of your 3d relief which looks rather rather good so you can see very quickly you can make a 3d relief in Kafka so the next thing we're going to do I think is well we'll give this a little bit of color so we just open up come up to the little light up here and you can you can change the filters in here to different materials or different colors or light point of view if you wish um, it's okay ambient light will turn that up a bit Ooh, a bit too high so you know you you could change this to suit your personal preference and that's toning it down a little but we can still still do more here So what I'm actually doing here, I'm showing you how to make this gold. Well, that's bright gold. And now we can actually turn the ambient up a bit. Make it really gold. So you can change the fit lighting filters and color filters to to suit your, you know, your personal your touch. So we're going to accept that. And we'll look at that square on. That's beautiful. So now we're going to put this th now 3D rendering 
into the relief clipout library. So you come up here to relief, export to clipout library. And if you open up the clipout library, there it is. And you can name it really whatever you want. Um, if you want to rename it, you just hover over it and right click and you can rename it to whatever you want. So that is how to take a straight drawing, reduce the colors, make the vectors, use the shape editor to construct a 3D relief and how to save a 3D relief in your clipart library. Thank you for watching this Cavco tutorial today. I'm Roger Webb and I'll see you next time.